Much is expensive? If I have to bring uh, Mr. Chinwo to come here and uh, minister for, to you guys now, you will, how much will I pay her? How much does a gospel artist of Mr. Chinwo's status charge to come to an event or in a church? How much do you think she will collect? Ten. Oh, ten. It has reached ten million. So I will now, now collect money from people. If um, um, Okoji is saying, Jesus, you love me too much, you too much. So Jesus is not going to love you too much again until it's Messi Chingo that will sing it. These are the trajectories that we have turned Christianity to, that an artist will come to a church and lead in praise worship for 10 million naira, 5 million naira. And some people are asking, should they be paid? Why won't you pay them? If you must bring them, you must pay them. Because what you are bringing them for is entertainment. We have turned worship into what? Entertainment. We are copying the world. Those days, those who compose songs, you are... Hey guys, welcome. So you guys, news that is trending is that our beloved Messi Chinwo charges as much as 10 million naira for a performance in churches now you had um, Reverend Father Uloma talking about um, how people always want to see gospel artists um, you know the popular ones before they will feel like God loves them or before they will feel connected to God now he was asking his church people or his church members that if I go and want to bring Messi Chin one out to you guys to sing for you people and I charge um, she's charging us 5 to 10 million and I'll come and start taxing you guys to bring money so that Messi Chin will sing for us. You know that is not something he would want to do. Now the social media um, space has been crazy about this because the people are saying uh -uh, 10 million is too much, 5 million is too much. So people are actually trying to justify the reason she's collecting, allegedly collecting that kind of amount. Now, let me tell you guys what I think about this. <laughs> let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section anyways. Because for me, I feel like whenever it comes to gospel artists or gospel ministers, the church likes to make it look... No, let me not generalize. Let me not say the church. I feel like sometimes pastors, you know, Reverend Fathers, they want to make it look like this money these people are collecting, um, you're not worth it. Now... We know that from time immemorial, there are speakers, you know, pastors, when they come to your church to come and preach or anything, they give them a token, they give them money, they call it honorarium, you know, um, at some point, some people might charge you, others might not charge you, and but I always know that when a pastor comes to a church, he preaches and he's leaving, you know, they will just give him a token, oh, thank you for coming. Some people might reject it depending on their level, some people might say, oh, thank you because some of them need it. But I think when it comes to gospels, um, ministers, singers, they always try to downplay it. Maybe because it's pastors that have the churches. I don't know why it's an issue to pay a gospel artist that comes to sing in the church. Now, I remember back in the day, you know, gospel artists who always divert they move from gospel music to secular music in quotes. You get a lot of these people that are started singing, a lot of people that are singing, you know, secular music. Ask them. They started from the church. Oh, if they ask them, how did you start? Oh, I was in the church choir. I was singing in the church choir. Now, why are you singing Shaky Bombo? You understand? Because that's what is paying. Because money is important. Nobody should come and tell me money is not important here. A few months ago, Messi Chiwa released new uh, music album and everything, or an EP rather. You get, look at the quality of the video she shot. You are enjoying it because it's meeting the standard of those ones that upcoming secular artists though. That's how they shoot. I don't know when it comes to church, we like to make money look as if money is not this thing that God said that we're supposed to have. It's money. God gave us money. See, money is meant to be spent. Stop it. Church has money. See, yeah, if the church does, they didn't have money, I would say, okay, the this thing. Any church that cannot afford it, I don't know that either the amount she collects. So, some people said actually that um, when you charge for worship, it's no longer worship. And I beg to differ. For instance, now, Mr. Chimwon has shot me, um, music videos because. She, do you know how many millions it takes them to shoot these music videos? So now, because um, what they call it, I spent money to buy this CD and I'm playing it in my car. Or I spent money to recharge data and I'm watching it on YouTube. Then I cannot worship because I'm spending money on it. It's the same thing. You are paying her to come there and lead God's people to, in, into worship. Because you paid her, you feel like whatever she's doing there is fake or for sure. And I had one thing the Reverend Father said. He said, gospel music has turned into entertainment. And I don't even think that is a bad thing. 
See, do you know people that listen to gospel music that normally they will not listen to it because before they felt like it was boring, you know, um, it cannot be how God wants his music. Who told did God tell you how he wants his music to be? Only a particular way. There are different um, sides to God. You understand? So you cannot say that, oh, if the music has to be slow, um, boring, in quote, I'm not saying that slow music is boring, before it gives God praise. I don't know when God told us that. My point is, okay, my situation was singing. The, do you know how much they pay bassists? That bass is their pain. Do you know how much his bass or his bass or bass guitar cost? Do you know how much the keyboard? Do you know how much keyboards cost? I remember a few years ago, this person gifted, uh, I think, um, Frank Edwards. Domon gifted Frank, Frank Edwards um, one musical set like that. Frank Edwards spent so much money trying to buy musical equipment. He always talks about how those things are like expensive more than like a lot of things that he has. So for instance, Frank Edwards spends like I say 15 million, 10 million buying a particular sound system. And you are saying that when he goes to sing, you should not pay him money or he should not, um, you know, collect money. You get what I'm saying? So him, he could have bought something cheaper. So if Frank Edwards buy, let's say, a 2000 era microphone and he sings, you're like, ah, ah, why is this song sounding like this? Gospel musicians, people who can forehand, look at the way David is sounding. Look at the way um, Bonaboy is sounding. Bonaboy at that time said that he could not perform in Nigeria. Why? The sound system was not his standard. But every year we hold experience. People from everywhere all over the world will come for experience in Lagos. And like we are proud enough to allow them to use our mic because of the standard of the mic. Okay, people like Pastor Paul, when they do experience, they don't collect offering or anything. Do you know how many millions of naira are going to that goes into the planning of experience? I'm giving you an example. I'm saying that this gospel to propagate it is not cheap. It's not cheap, and that's the truth. And like I said, a lot of these churches have money. If pastors will get paid from church, in fact, the people who come to church because of the music more than the pastors these days, sorry, pastors, to bust your bubble. That's just the truth. So people will know God faster through music than through your preaching, which is not a bad thing. So you have to, pastors be, have to begin to respect this gospel artist as much as, in fact, a little bit more than you respect yourself these days. I'm just saying. Somebody was comparing um, Nathaniel Bassi in the comment section saying that Nathaniel Bassi doesn't collect money and Nathaniel Bassi says that he has to go where God tells him to go. He doesn't charge. No problem. If God spoke to him not to charge, no wahala. But the truth is, if Mr. Chinua refuses to charge today, people will sponsor her lifestyle. She's loved. You understand? Then, apart from people sponsoring her lifestyle, there's Spotify, there's Boomplay, there's Apple Music, there's YouTube. There are so many places that her music is airing. This Spotify, this Boomplay, all these places, they are not Christians, Christians that have it though. That they, they are the worldly people in quotes. The ones we call worldly or that the ones Christians call worldly. The ones that we are daily celebrating their wealth. People like um, what they call him, Twitter owner now. We are always talking about how much they have. In fact, even in churches now, if pastors are preaching, they use those people as examples to talk about how God can give you wealth in this world. You know, then why do you think that gospel artists should be mediocre? I'm not saying that the only way they can make money is through church. I'm not even sure if she collects 10 million naira. You understand? But I'm saying that for the standard, Mr. Chimo, is you know people like that sing her song like everywhere i see some white people exercising abroad and they are singing her song people from um, um overseas come to nigeria they want to sing with her see let me tell you guys something i don't know why pastors keep embarrassing gospel artists like this, this is why people are leaving people's choir if you go now people choirs that started like from the scratch people have left it they will go to this um new generation churches because this will pay their keyboards they pay their basis they understand that these people are doing these things to earn a living that's another part of it yes they love to do it but they also need to earn a living if they go around and start begging you now you say oh you are singing for god and you are broke now they are singing for god and they are rich and you are complaining about it is that not what it's supposed to be the Reverend Father talked about some of these old gospel artists that did not used to charge. Listen, there's this gospel artist, I, don't, I can't remember his name. I know that my mom used to listen to him when I was younger. And this man was, he's very popular, or he was very popular. He used to play the bass. I remember he died of one terminal disease. A few years ago, his pictures were everywhere on social media soliciting for funds. People will still say, oh, how come he sang for God and he cannot heal you of sickness? How come he sang for God and you don't have money to go to the hospital? You understand? The same thing the way they laugh at Nollywood actors for sing acting for so long and they don't have money to treat themselves when they are sick. The same people that were not collecting money then. You people let them perish. You let them die anyhow. I'm just saying that right now, the quality of music that gospel artists are dishing out every day, please pay them if you can. 
especially for those churches that have money. Some pastors have private jets. Some reverend fathers have multiple private universities, secondary school, primary schools, everywhere. They are making money, you know. And this money, I know that you say, oh, it's the school that has the money now, but the money first started from the church. That was where it all started from first. You started making money first from the church. Then um, you now have a school, you have businesses and everything. See, you can afford to pay this artist. You can afford, okay, like Mr. Chimo, I noticed she has like three backup singers she goes with everywhere then there's bases there's keyboards there's you no know, logistics all those things how will she pay how will she pay so imagine that she was doing all these things and she becomes broke she will go and start singing another kind of song people will still say she's the one that left gospel to go and sing that one because money is important like i said look at chidima she has sung the other one she has come back because she knows she can make money from the two of them. Imagine that she knew that she would never make money from gospel um, music. She will be there struggling, whatever she's struggling in the other side. So I know that some people feel like 5 million, 10 million is, is much. But I also know that some churches can afford way more than that. And I also know that if churches decide today not to pay some gospel artists, people will still pay them. People will just randomly gift them. But I also want um, churches and pastors to know that this is their gift and it should feed them. Nobody should go. This is their gift. It should feed them. If she's worth it, if she's worth that amount, then she should be able to be paid that amount if she goes to sing. And because she's paid, does not make it less of worship to God. You cannot convince me on that. But if you want to convince me, let me know your thoughts are in the comment section, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, subscribe, follow us on Facebook. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.